Thick moss hides enduring branches. A merciful ocean breeze sighs among roughened trunks. Shadow cloaks the forest floor. Small, smooth stones mingle with the soil, carried ever closer to the dancing tide of the stream. Night drifts over the distant mountain range and envelops the Oregon coast. In silence, the stars yearn to be seen, straining through the darkness. In the breathless hours before dawn, determined researchers traverse the forest floor. With careful steps, they weave between languid ferns over rocks and logs. They crane their necks to look at the canopy, searching for the darting shadows that could be their birds. They know the merlet silhouette, the wing's chaotic exclamations escaping from streamlined bodies. They are but momentary flecks of night against the cornflower dusk. The sky continues to welcome the sun, its tentative light twinkling in the whites of their upturned eyes. Nothing but a low murmur escapes, along with their muffled, crunching footsteps. No matter what befalls them in these secret moments before the sun, they will continue their vigil, picking the luckiest gaps in the canopy to wait for their elusive subject. A bird waits, woven into the fabric of the forest. She bobs her head as if listening to a forgotten tune, black eyes lapping up twilight. She shifts her weight and wings. Only when her mate returns from feeding will she make her own flight to shore, to settle on a restless ocean. Once in the water, she is at home. The waves, the clouds, both are her domain. The researchers, too, have quit the land, adopting orange jackets and a ship on the water. Underneath the crouching clouds, they drift out to sea, searching for the cover of darkness. They ease smaller craft through the silence above the water, attempting to capture the bird's surprise. Back at the ship, coated sentinels loom over a toweled countertop. Two hands hold something plump, feathered, docile. With calipers, another set of hands measure the graying rosebud feet. Careful fingers extend a wing, spreading the feathers and stealing their rounded ends. Not a peep escapes the sentinels as they quickly sort their prizes into manila envelopes. After their measurements, the researchers allow the merlet to return to her nighttime drift. As the night sky slowly creeps toward dawn, a bird's intuition wakes. She has had a full day of foraging, flying. It is time to return to her nest. Her mate is due a day of freedom. The next dawn will bring her back. This is as certain as the stars, as the tides that wave goodbye. She will be back.